The Rantoul Eagles donned red headbands on the track Friday to honor former teammate Donnell Robertson. The Eagles seemed determined to make him proud, advancing in three relays, as well as Jerry Harper cruising to a win in his 400 heat. One four one. We actually missed one of our brothers. Spoke on four by one. But we made the finals for that. His favorite color is red. So that's why we we're red. Because everybody expected me to come out here and win state. But I don't let that come to my head. I just focus on the race. Just come out and compete. Urbana stole the show out of lane eight in the four by 200 meter relay. The Tigers' first three legs gave Michael Mboyo a big lead down the home stretch. He outlasted Mascuda to win the heat by only .03 seconds. Y'all yeah, knew he was there. I felt him coming. My legs was giving out. I, I knew he was coming, but I just tried to like finish the race as quick as I could before he could actually pass me off. Urbana's Jeremiah Hamilton also won his 200 heat to make it to Saturday. I dare you to find a more perfect name to go along with an event than Muhammad Seymour's Hunter Hinder shot in the shot put. He's the favorite in the field going over 60 feet in the prelims, the only one to do so. Well, I know Saturday is not supposed to be the best weather, so definitely I had to get my best throw on the first day. So that was in my head, just get a good, get a good throw the first day. Bulldog senior Matthias Powell won a battle with Monticello's Garrett Dixon in the 1600 to set up the highly anticipated matchup on Saturday. Oh, it's fun. I love racing. I mean, he's a great competitor, really talented. Uh, we obviously, I think we both actually improved on our kick in the end. We never really had that. All the qualifiers from 1A, 2A, and 3A take to the track again on Saturday, hoping to end their season standing on one of these podiums with a medal around their neck. Reporting in Charleston, Craig Choate, WCI3 Sports.